Yes, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We've all been focusing on our 2020 transformation. Our next guest is here to show us how we can all propel ourselves to reach our goals. She's an attorney, transformational speaker, and author of the new book, Hashtag Driven. Mm. Please welcome down to the circle, Miss Corey Miner Smith. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Just looking Hi. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Having me. Nice yes. splash of color right yes. there in the middle. Power color. Yes. yes. <laughs> so let's talk about this emotional memoir. Mm. And give us a little bit of background on how you actually became a motivator. Hashtag driven. Mm. Hashtag Love driven. that. Love that. Well, it was, I was actually 16 when I first knew I wanted to write a book. And mm. by that time, I had attended 14 schools, lived in three states, and wow. eight different households. At 16. Wow. At 16, wow. yes. Wow. And so I remember telling my cousin, I'm going to write a book. I didn't know what my story was, mm -hmm. but it developed and... Wow. wow. Hashtag driven. Hashtag wow. driven. Life's That's driven. fantastic. Yes. Well, you also say something in your book. It says, uh, self first is not selfish. Can you talk a little bit about that? I know that. Because I think yes. a lot of times we, we're guilty when, right. we, when we take a moment for ourselves. We feel a little mm -hmm. guilty about that. Well, think about when you ride on the airplane. And one of the safety tips that are that given is, true. is to put your mask on first mm -hmm. before you assist anyone else. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's, there's science behind that. Like, mm -hmm. you lose brain function if there's the air capacity is lost in the airplane. Mm. And you wouldn't even be able to recognize shapes mm -hmm. to even help yourself once you start helping other people. Yeah. So it's important that we understand it in our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. If you keep helping others all the time, what are you taking from yourself? What are you not doing for yourself? Your chores at the house or running errands for yourself if you're running them for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Right, but what about these kids? I don't know, the like, kids, yeah. the kids uh, too. Soul over here. The kids too. <laughs> I was like, I'm a mother of two sons, they're older now, but they still have things that they want mm -hmm. me to do for them, but it's important to help other people to be able to help themselves mm -hmm. because yeah. again, Everybody has responsibilities in life, and you need to be able to do your own things mm -hmm. and then oh, assist other people. I know that's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which is, brings me to this next question. Okay. <laughs> um, you, you talk about making your mental and physical um, uh, work and self a priority. Yes. Now, we just talked about, you know, taking care of ourselves first, or we can't take care of others. So what, once you know that, once you've determined that that's what you need to do, what is the process and how mm. to begin that? Because, yeah. you know, we, you know, with our yes. kids, you know, they get to saying something <laughs> and then we put life. ourselves on the wayside. <laughs> yeah. So right. how do we do that, especially being moms in instances like that? Well, number one, you know, our physical exams each year. A lot of people don't mm -hmm. like going to the doctor, mm -hmm. but that's something I'm that's sure important for your physical health. Mm -hmm. And just like you go to the doctor or the dentist or the eye doctor on scheduled times, you should also go for your mental health. Mm -hmm. Or even just doing a mental health assessment. Yep. You know, there's life stressors every day. And I think it's important just to have like an inventory taken with your doctor to talk about things that are going on. And then you may receive recommendations to go to counseling mm -hmm. or maybe you want to try some type of medication. So <clears throat> it's important to make sure that you have that on your schedule to have your physical exams and to do mental health assessments. Yeah, I got to get, I get. <laughs> because I literally was thinking about, man, I need to take Bailey to the doctor. And I was like, but have you taken Your yourself? Right. right. I have not. I need to go my, just a general physical right. just to go and do that. Anyway, uh, quiet reflection. I have made it an effort to try to do that every single morning uh, by journaling with my Palo Santo sticks and all that kind of stuff in prayer. Uh, why do you feel like quiet reflection is imperative? Well, first of all, it's something that I truly had to apply in my own life because mm -hmm. I didn't. My uh, sister-in-law, Jamel, she always told me I needed to calm down, take time to smell the roses. I'm like, I don't have time to do that. Mm -hmm. I got stuff to do. Right. So, <laughs> but it took me to realize and understand and appreciate just being quiet. So not necessarily doing anything, mm -hmm. just being, yeah. you know, paying attention to how you breathe, paying attention to your thoughts. I didn't give that time in my life at all, mm -hmm. but I've learned the value of it and I implement it more each day. What does your implementation look like, though? Laying in the bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Right, but sometimes it's just being, just yeah. being, you know, binge watching television shows like Sisters and all that other yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Just relaxing and taking time to just breathe. Yeah. And I truly did not do that. I truly mm. have.
have not done that in my life. Yeah. Now, are you doing it now? I am. <laughs> 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 watching <laughs> TV is real fun. I love watching TV. TV yes. is great. Yeah. I just one get of, lost. I was going to say, one of the things you talked about is self-assessment, mm -hmm. which I think I do a lot of, and I don't know if the rest of us do that, but can you talk a little bit more about that and what that means and how do we even start, you right. know, really starting to assess ourselves? And, and to add on to that, tell us the difference between making a personal assessment versus personally judging yourself. Ooh, Ooh that's you good. Just, that's you good. snapped. This, I did this. That's you it. snapped right I, there. I, I, I'm yeah. alive today. You right. got it all going it can on turn today. Into, <laughs> yeah, it can and turn it, into Yeah, that. it's important yeah. to recognize how you self-criticize because those things limit us in what we pursue in life. Mm -hmm. But I think that just like doing a SWOT analysis on yourself, your strengths, mm -hmm. your weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and understanding the goals that you want to place. Stacey Abrams, you know she ran mm -hmm. for governor mm -hmm. here in your state, she de uses a uh, Excel spreadsheet for her goals and nice. that helps her to track where she is and reassess you know whether a particular goal from five years is still mm. applicable in your life today you mm. might need to check that off and mm -hmm. apply something else in your life so I think it's important to use that as a first step mm -hmm. SWOT analysis personally you know I know I like it's used that. in the business world but mm -hmm. you can get a start from there in understanding your purpose your passion and how to move forward and not and judge yourself and how do you and keep from judge judging yourself in that assessment I think it's important to um, understand when you are judging yourself mm -hmm, and being yeah. critical because it's, it's a part of helping us to develop when mm -hmm. we are critical but is it a positive criticism okay. it's something right. that positive. you can use to better your life and your situation mm -hmm. versus being down on yourself mm -hmm. right got well, it thank you this so much good. for being yes. here and sharing <laughs> all of your knowledge with us today make sure you pick up a copy of hashtag driven love that title thank where you. all fine books are sold and follow her on instagram at corey empowers that's great give it up for miss corey Yay.